Hi, um, I'm going to hack together a shaper out of things that are available easily at a store like Walmart. So the first thing I use is a shower puff that I've snipped the inside thread and I've taken, you get a long tube of this mesh and usually I cut it in half. This is half, half of, half of the mesh from a shower puff. And then I thread it onto some skinny elastic which is available in the craft section and I tie it in a donut. So this could go over a bun or a ponytail if you have one. If you, you know, and then you would just need a velvet headband which you can make yourself out of a strip of velour that you, you um, take the strip and you sew it into a circle and then you fold it in half so that the fuzzy side is on both sides on the outside and then you could do a running stitch with a needle and thread around the outer edge but loose so it has stretch and then you could put that on your head as your velvet headband if you needed to. So if you have a ponytail or a bun you can just put a loofah like this around it and that will be your volume. If you do not, if you have hair loss then you need a safety pin and a bandana. Allow me to demonstrate. So you have your velour headband, which can also be hacked easily with velour you buy at Walmart. Or go to the thrift store and find an old velour skirt and chop it up. So fold the bandana so it's got a little extra room. So don't fold the, the corners evenly, but rather do one side smaller. And that goes on the inside. And then you can place your bandana and tie it snugly in the back. Now you see how you get these two corners sticking out. Okay, grab those two corners sticking out, flip the tail up, grab those two corners and pull them together at the back of your head so the tail is on the outside, okay? And then and then give give a few more inches. And then you take your safety pin and you pin those back edges together. So that basically you have sort of a pocket or a tube with a hole. See, I can put my hand in there. All right, now you're going to take your loofah and you're going to stuff loofah into the hole. Okay, so it's in there. Okay, get it positioned how you want it so it's not shaped funny. Get it kind of flat against your head not like what I'm doing here it's I've got it messed up all right so get it get it flat and then take this tail and pull the tail down continue to work on shaping this this loofah and then take undo half of the knot from your bandana put the tail into the middle of the knot and retie it so that it's secure okay so there's your shaper now you can tie your scarf. And with the velour headband, it should stay very secure. Without the velour headband, if you just used a bandana, you might find some, some clippies, barrettes, if you have hair, in the, the hair section. If you don't have hair, that tape. No, I'm just joking. Um, if you don't have tape and you don't have a velour headband, you are going to be mm, maybe retying your scarf a few times. But it, it could be done. It could be done. So, um, okay, now we'll just do a regal. This is an awesome pashmina that I found at the thrift store. And it's made out of actual cashmere. And the tag on it says Jerusalem. So this is my first time actually wearing it. Since it's getting a little bit colder outside, I figured I could do that and get away with it today. All right, so nice and smooth. See, we've got the bump. And then just, I'm just going to throw this over and see what happens with the colors. There's a stripe in this scarf, so let's do this. Ow! Don't poke yourself in the eye like I just did. I'm not even going to think about pleats. I'm just going to 
throw these around and see what happens. So, this side, I'm going to hide the tag, even though it says Jerusalem on it. I don't want it to show when I'm wearing it. So, one side of the of this tail is always a little bit shorter, so I'm trying to fold it so it's got the longer side up. All right, so this is whoop, there we go, there we go. This is how I would hack together a shaper out of cheap things from Walmart. You know, the bath poof might cost a buck or two. I know the bandanas are only one dollar. If you need to buy elastic and pins, you know, that might be another few dollars. But um, then you've got pins. But most people have pins floating around their house. So, and the elastic is probably like a buck ninety-eight or something. So, I hope this helps somebody and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.